and make disciples beautiful words. Go and make disciples. The church will grow only if we go out and make disciples by sharing our faith. What Jesus Christ has done for us, for you and for me. Go therefore and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And teaching them to observe all commandments, the Ten Commandments, very relevant until now. The commandments of love. All the commandments and the promises there for us in law. Jesus said, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I believe that the Lord will come very soon. This is not just a serious, a serious time. This is a sacred time to have a new walk, a new growth in Christ. I'd like to share and end my a sermon with a story. He was born in a privileged home. He has an inherited wealth. He spent his time just like some of us who, who saw some, who are seeing some young people who are privileged and who have prosperity in their home. They have chosen rambunctious, reckless, rebellious companies. And so they were wild. They leave this young man live a life of recklessness, women, free sex, wine, whiskey, alcohol, you name it, until you meet Jesus Christ. Until you meet Jesus Christ one day, friends. And he decided to separate from the world. He decided, you know what? I will not anymore follow the dictates of the world. And so he spent his time in poverty. And he penned this prayer that I would like to leave behind with you today as we worship God. It's a famous prayer, and I know you can relate to this prayer. He wrote, and I quote, Lord, in a prayerful manner, Lord, grant me, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. It is because, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born into eternal life. The seed of Jesus Christ has to, be, has to fall on the ground and grows to be buried into the ground of death and then it will grow. <clears throat> Brethren, beloved of God, those of us who embrace the cross of Christ, we have the power to overcome our sinful tendency. I would like to admonish this church in order for us to have revival and reformation. If you have some magazines that are smut and promiscuous, can you, can you throw it away right now? If you have CDs or DVDs in your homes that affects your spiritual walk and growth in Christ, I would like to encourage you to throw them away. But if you are, you might think, oh, I'll just sell it instead of throwing it so that I can have money for it. But whatever it is that will hinder us from our walk and growth in Christ, let us forsake those things, dearly beloved. And let us remember the suggestions that, I, that the Lord has, has given us through me today. Spend much time reading, reflecting, remembering the Word of God. Spend much time to gather your family in family worship morning and evening. Spend much time in prayer. Spend much time in doing service. Spend much time in witnessing to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very, very much, dear, dear friends for accepting Jesus Christ in your life. And I believe He will make a change in your life. Amen.